Hello, I'm Zach. I'm a PhD student in the Chauhan lab here at the Colorado School of Mines in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering. Unfortunately, this year, due to the current circumstances, we're not able to hold the recruiting event in person. So this video will have to serve as a replacement in this virtual event. In our lab, we have three graduate students, including myself, two undergraduates, and a postdoc. I'm currently in our office on the first floor of Alderson Hall, where we have some of our basic office amenities. I'll now take you upstairs to our lab to show you what we have and tell you more about what we do. We are now on the fourth floor of Alderson in our lab. Before I show you the specific pieces of equipment that we use, I'll give you an overview of our research focus in our current projects. So the main focus of our lab is nanomaterials, drug delivery specifically for the eye and transport. One of the main projects we have going on right now is the controlled release of drug from contact lenses with the incorporation of vitamin E. Other projects going on are in the field of colloids, which use gold nanoparticles and silicon nanoparticles. And as for my work, I use polymers and biodegradable polymers for the controlled release of biologics. So starting on the left here, we have our glassware on the racks, sonication bath, which I often use for uh, separating aggregates of particles and removing excess surfactant from my particle syntheses. Here we have our water purification system, followed by our vortex and scales. Up here we have our chemical shelf with many of our materials and reagents. Down here we have more bench space which I often use for doing my BCA assays, Bradford assays, and lysis. I'm recording. Good, I hope they heard that. Oh, that's plenty. It's good? Yeah. Moving on over here, we have our fume hood where we keep our waste and sometimes biohazard waste when we use rabbit eyes for our ex vivo testing of drug release. Here we have our 3D resin printer. Here's our second fume hood where we have hot plates and magnetic stir plates. Right now we have two light sensitive solutions that are mixing. And here we have another bench with a nice view as well. We have a sonication probe where I make some of my batches of particles. We have our ring stand with connected homogenizer, pH meter, and lasers. Here we have our large sonication probe for larger samples and for stronger sonications. Here we have our shelves of basic lab equipment such as aluminum foil, gloves, glasses, chem wipes, and other stuff. Here we have our cat calendar. In this room we have our 3D printer and other materials such as micro plates and contact lenses. 3D printer has been very useful in trying to make specific parts for some of the projects that we are working on. Down here we have our incubator which I would use for some of my assays. In this room we have our HPLC which we measure single drug or multi-drug release. Over here we have a newly assembled lubricity measurement system connected to a torque meter. We have our oven and our UV exposure system. We use this to polymerize our polyhema. 
Over here we have one of our main computers and UV Viz systems. Over here we have our other main computer, which is connected to a camera on our optical microscope and connected to our dynamic light scattering and zeta potential measuring system. This is very helpful in our characterizations of our particles. So this is just a quick overview of what we have in our lab space. There are also shared lab spaces in Aldersim, which I use. In those lab spaces, they have equipment like centrifuges and incubated shaker plates. Much of the work in this lab is experimental, but we do sometimes use modeling in combination with our studies. If you like experimental work or if you like computational work and you have an interest in colloids, drug delivery, and or transport, this may be the lab for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and like seeing our lab.